What up boys and welcome back to yet another video. So recently I've done these videos where I've shown you guys where I camp a lot of my alt teams in order to kill rare elites and acquire items that has a unique appearance selling for lots of gold and it seems like a lot of the people watching my videos also have a massive army of alt so they really like these type of videos and I got so many things that I'm camping. In fact, there's a complete spreadsheet on my VIP Discord. So if you're on that Discord, make sure to check it out. If you have no clue what the VIP Discord is, it's pretty much like a Patreon where you support me as a content creator. But you also get access to exclusive gold tips, spreadsheets, even my war within investments and everything happens on a Discord server. So that's going to be linked uh, down below in the description. Uh, but I highly suggest you to take a look at the 0 to 10 million gold guide first. But if you already have that, VIP Discord is absolutely great. But if you're just stepping into the gold making scene, the 0 to 10 million gold guide is really going to help you out. It's a guide that I've been working on for over four years now, and it features the best tactics and methods that I personally use in order to achieve multiple gold caps. And the best part about it is the fact that you get all the updates that I do to the guide completely for free for life. So check it out with the link down below in the description. And don't forget to use the discount code STUDENT for 50% off. So uh, the first uh, one that we're going to take a look at is actually in Northern Barrens. It's inside the Wailing Caverns where you have two different elites. You have this guy right here, Trigor the Lasher, and you have Bone, if that's how you pronounce it. And they drop a couple of items, but the items that you're really interested in is, well, the best item being the Serpent Kiss. It also drops uh, Bramble uh, Weed Leggings and Bones Fang. Bones Fang is actually a unique item. So it's kind of odd how the value is uh, is like super low compared to uh, the Serpent's Kiss. But in my experience from camping this, uh, it's way harder though to get the Serpent's Kiss than it is the, the Bones Fang. So uh, definitely if I were you, I would have camped a couple of tunes at this location. And with chromate time, like different expansions of chromate time, like different timelines, or war mode on and war mode off. So you can check it on different layers to kill it more than just once on that one tune that you're camping. But uh, they're not usually uh they're not usually heavily camped. There's way more elites that I'm camping that have a ton of competition compared to these guys. Usually, whenever I log on to uh my alts camping these. They're up on, uh, like, they're always up. And I just got the Serpent's Kiss live in this video. So that was great. That's how you do it. Super easy. 100% drop chance. It really isn't. But uh, that's how easy it can be done. So this time, Trigger the Lasher was up. Uh, but the other guy, Bone, is uh, not currently up. I can also click on Bone to see, like, how he uh, patrols. So you want to make sure if you uh, if you don't have the add-on, it's called a rare scanner, but it's really helpful if you don't know the exact spawn location. And there we have him as well. Kill him, pick up Bones Fang, got both weapons just like that. So really good location to camp uh, like one or more of your tune set. And whenever you're camping stuff like this, I also advise you to get more than just one of the item you're going for before you move your tune. Like you basically want to have a backup because it's kind of annoying, but also at the same time, it's pretty cool. But selling the item that you just camped and you moved your tune over to somewhere else, and then you got to go on and move it back over to uh, where you just came from. And it just could have been done that way easier. Uh, the next one is uh, actually one that I uh, made a video on probably like five years ago. It's It's been a while. And uh, there's also uh, some something that I haven't been able to confirm yet as well on this one. But you're farming uh, for like silver moon chests is what I call them. This is like different types of silver moon chests. So you have, if I just search up uh, silver moon like this, you can find them. There's the silver moon armor, silver moon tunic, and silver moon robe. All with a pretty good price, like honestly, on these. Uh, so they're really cool items. And you get them from killing the rare elite Finissa the Assassin right here at Bloodmust Isle. Now, the interesting thing is that if you search up... Um, 
like back in the day, so you could also get these chests from these mobs, the Sunhawk agents. I haven't yet tried to obtain it from these agents, but apparently in some kind of patch that was removed and they were only added to the rare elite. But a lot of things have changed with loot tables, specifically patches like uh, 1017. So I wonder if you can now go back and hyper spawn these Sunhawk agents and actually farm the Silver Moon chests. But really, really good cap because there's three different items. So you get a lot of variety by sticking around at this location right here. So we're going to check out two more. And these two, uh, as I mentioned uh, at the first cap, are uh, they got way more competition way more competition like people go out of their way to get kills on these uh on these bosses so it is tougher to find them uh, being spawned just keep that in mind it's uh very normal to cap these on almost dead realms that has low population maybe in chromie time war mode on and off in order to try and, uh, and get a kill and people have like many accounts and they use those to get faced as well and if you've been in the game for a while, you probably know where I'm going already by looking at this. We're talking about the, the boss that can spawn right here. Uh, it's, he's called Doomwalker. And Doomwalker, he can drop a lot of different epic items. But these are some of the better ones. You have the face card of Endless uh, Watch. You have the, the Nexus Reaver, which is really good. Never had an issue selling these. Terror Weave Tunic, Barrel Blade, Long Rifle right here, and Talon of the Tempest. Really cool items. They used to have an insane value. Like, you could sell the Nexus Reaver for above 100,000 gold for, like, multiple expansions. But it is just way easier to get kills on something like this if you have multiple accounts and you're facing yourself to a bunch of different layers. But uh, I always have a, a tune camped at this location and I usually check it at like odd hours. Uh, they also nerfed the spawn rate or buffed, I guess. They reduced the spawn rate uh, of, uh, of the world bosses uh, like that one. And the next one we're going to take a look at, Doom Lord Kassak. Uh, they used to take way longer to respawn, but uh, it's been a while ago now. But Blizzard actually shortened the respawn uh, time on these. So is that also reflects the price of the items. But some of the items that they drop are really, really good and very fast selling. So right up here at Throne of Kill Jaden, you can find uh, Doom Lord Kassak. And some of the items of note, this is the Hope Ender. This weapon right here, it's a banger. Absolute banger, 21k on my realm. Sells really fast. Look at that sell rate, so good. And then you also have the Exodar Life Staff, which is, like again, just absolutely insane sell rate on these two items. So I do have a bunch more of uh, camps like these that I've never featured as well. So if you guys still like these videos, just... Let me know by typing so down below in the comment section. And I appreciate you guys watching as always. So don't forget to check out the uh, VIP Discord, which is linked in the description together with the 0 to 10 million gold guide. But if you're considering picking that up, don't forget to use the discount code STUDENT. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all back in at tomorrow's video. But until then, bye bye.